Hey guys, Wrestling Rambles 89 back with another reaction video today. This time I'll be reacting to Stone Cold talking about how he maintained body size on a budget. Now back in the day, Austin's made no secret of the fact his pay was incredibly low, earning 10 20 bucks a day when he was on the road wrestling starting out. Um, it took a while, of course, until he became a star and earned good money, but he's still a wrestler at the end of the day. He's still got to remain in good shape, so I'm curious how Austin stayed in shape. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. All right, we had a question coming in from Newcastle, England, from James. He says, hey, Steve, I gather from your podcast in the early days for yourself and others, there were a lot of time on the road and not much pay. Yep. My question is, what did you do for food? How did you maintain your size and shape in terms of your diet? I'm not planning to be a pro wrestler, but like to keep in shape. But as a father of uh, two, going back to university, the wallet can be tight. Definitely. Do you have any suggestions or tips for diet on a budget? <laughs> but let me take you back down to my days in USWA. When I first started pro wrestling, I was living in Dallas, Texas, working on a freight dock, you know, still making pretty good money every week. And I went, when I went down to Tennessee and started working full time, I lost about 10 or 15 pounds because I couldn't afford to eat. Damn. And so, you know, <laughs> if you can't afford to eat, you just lose weight. <laughs> Thankfully, you know, guys are making enough money these days that you can eat, but you probably ain't putting no money in the bank. Mm. As far as trying to eat healthy on a dime, you know, man, I need to shit pile of protein. Your staples like rice, oatmeal, and potatoes yep. are pretty cheap. Uh you can just get, you know, some, some, some grade of beef or chicken. If you stick to the basics of things in, in regards to meat, uh, giving you your proteins and, you know, your carbs, uh, you really don't need a whole lot of fat sources. You can get some fat inside your uh, uh, meat, especially mm. if you're eating beef. You really don't need a whole lot of damn food. It's all the, it's all the uh, bullshit stuff that racks up your money. <laughs> but if you stick to staples, and sometimes it gets old eating the staples. But, again, that's what I'm eating right now because I'm trying to lose some weight. So that's all I'm eating is protein, some carbs, and maybe one little fucking green vegetable every here and there. So <laughs> it is what it is. You know the deal, dude. Shop smart. Hit all the damn bargains. Yeah. Use your coupons. Shit. Things are tough out there. Definitely. Okay, so that's pretty solid advice from Austin. I'm not exactly a bodybuilder myself or a pro wrestler, unfortunately, but I think that can be applied to, yeah, all walks of life, whatever your goal is. The protein is obviously really important, and just, yeah, stick to your budget best you can. Try and not buy over-expensive things. As Austin said at the end there, that's the best advice. If you've got coupons, use them. If you've got any stores that sell stuff on discount at some times, buy that. But yeah, if you're on a budget, then you're pretty much stuck for a lot of things. So Austin did give some pretty good advice, but yeah, that was interesting enough. I was hoping he'd go a bit more in depth on his early days, but I still hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for watching as always. Be sure to like and subscribe if you want to miss an if you never want to miss an upload, excuse me, because I upload new videos every single day. This is Wrestling Rambles 89, signing off.